Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to Shared Reading. I'm really excited this week because we're going to be talking about plants and working on a science experiment. Hopefully, you all got your plants at home um, so that you can do this, and we'll be making some predictions today also. We have linked a video for you guys to watch. It's to review some of the steps from the scientific method. You might not remember them from kindergarten, but I know you did some science experiments in kindergarten. So you can just click the link and review the scientific method, which is what we're going to be talking about this week. Our essential question, how can you identify the different things plants need to grow and live? I can learn about the different things plants need to survive and complete activities to show what I have learned. Our vocabulary, scientific method, experiment, question, hypothesis, plan, record results, and our conclusion. So if we're going to review the steps of the scientific method, we know the first thing we have to do is observe. Then we have to question, make questions about our observations, come up with a hypothesis, discuss our method, see the results, and draw our conclusion from our science experiment. So you're going to complete the first five boxes on your worksheet. This is on Classic, or you can handwrite it on a separate sheet of paper. It looks like this. Will a plant continue to grow without soil, water, and or light? This is our question. For my hypothesis, I think the plant will grow the tallest because, so which plant? Then you're going to have your experiment. You're going to have five plants and put them in a different cup. You could use little clear cups or solo cups, whatever works best. Plant one will be the control plant. Plant two will get everything but water. Plant three will get everything but air. Plant four will get everything but light. And plant five will get everything but soil. So that's what we're doing with our different plants. So plant one on Tuesday is the control plant. So what was the plant given? And how tall, about how tall was it? So day one, plant number what, what was given blank? Plant number two was not given. So what was plant number two not given? And it was how tall? So that's what you're going to be looking at today. And then you're going to skip over these boxes until the end of the week. So we'll come back to this. Then we want you to hand write this answer. Why do you think scientists use the scientific method to complete experiments? Why is this helpful to use when completing experiments? Can't wait to see you guys' answers. Be sure to take your time. This is meant to be fun. Let us know if you have any questions. 